I glassed the face. All right, right? guys, super, super quick video so here because everyone's going to be talking about this. Watch it. Maybe I'll watch it. We got Cat. She's not, not dead. Watch it with the anticipation that I don't know if that's like better or worse I like that plot. I thought the plot than her being was missing. And you know the plot but the just there she is. Close, she right? is technically alive. <laughs> The voice okay. corn is um, now officially in the toilet. Here, I don't even know what this means. I'm just going to get rid of this Baby. person. Uh, we received a $5 tip. But yes, this was his super Promoter special, leader. meaningful your, Wednesday night movie? stream dude, guys. Theirs was Indiana Jones. Was to show Indiana that Jones Cat 3. is alive. Been, yes, um, she is alive. That would have been the... Uh, now, my, my um, conspiracy brain is going into overtime it's like why would why would dsp show reveal cat now after what five years of never showing cat this has been five years since we last seen cat and she did not look like this last time we saw her five years ago that's for damn goddamn sure right i'm not going to go all off on the whole fat shaming thing because like I'm like it'd be a hit a bit I would be a bit of a hypocrite if I went into the whole fat shaming thing since I'm pretty bigger myself also so I'm not gonna really do that plus it's like it's whatever there's nothing wrong with having your significant other be a bigger person there's nothing wrong with that however well, let me get into it, but, like, what I think is, with the, with the, the, um, oncoming documentary, the Mike Klum documentary that's coming out, in the documentary, it's pretty obvious that eventually, uh, Ket is gonna be in the documentary in some way, shape, or form, right? So, Mike Klum is gonna have Ket be in the documentary. So DSP is hoping to get ahead of the documentary by showing Cat off in this big mainstream reveal thing, a uh, stream he's got going here, which is literally just them talking about Q&A and talking about video games and shit like that, right? So he's getting ahead of the documentary, showing her off, but also kind of using her to, like, garner, like, all this bullying and teasing um tips and comments and he, and I feel that Mike Clum is going to be watching the reactors streams reacting to this reveal so that they can spin it in a way where it's like, look at my detractors, my detractors are such horrible people that they shit on my wife constantly. When that's kind of not accurate, right? <clears throat> Hold on one second. I actually don't have anything to drink. Sorry, my throat's not super great today. Uh, not My nose is really stuffed, so I'm kind of working with a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but the fact that DSP waited five fucking years to show Cat off, to show Cat again to his audience... This is obviously a massive shock to everyone. Now, we saw some leaks and some pictures leak here and there, but none of us thought she was this big, right? Like, sure, the picture showed a bigger cat in some of the leaks, but we weren't 100% sure if it was cat or not. Like, they were kind of grainy and from far away, so it wasn't super easy to tell if it was actually cat or not, you know? Um... So it was eh, kind of hit and miss if it was her or not. But now, like, it's kind of obvious that, like, obviously it was her this whole time. But the reaction that all the detractors are going to be having is obviously shock and laughing. And it's way worse than if DSP had actually just been randomly having her on here and there. You know what I'm saying? So the reaction is far more stronger because DSP hid her from the internet for five years than it would have been if she was just randomly on and off of his streams here and there like once a year, once or twice a year if 
If DSP had her on once or twice a year for every year, it would not be nearly as harsh or as shocking as it is by hiding her from being online for literally five years. You know what I'm saying? So this is kind of a ploy by DSP and Mike Club maybe to spin this reveal in a way to where, oh, look at how awful these my trolls are. They're making fun of my wife when it's not super accurate. Like, people are shocked and being a bit harsh, but that's because they haven't seen this bitch in five years. So it's super fucking sh drastic and shocking to see how much she has changed in five years because DSP orders DoorDash uh, for fucking breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single fucking day of every single fucking week. So, of course, she's going to gain weight. You know what I mean? I mean, and I kind of like another thing is like a lot of people are saying, too, is that like it's more just like. The fact that like, well. um, the, Obviously, it's like she's still a beard for him because like a lot of people are thinking that DSP is gay. And I believe that. Too. Like, I'm one of them that believes that. So, like, she's happy because she doesn't have to have sex with him, right? That's how she's, like, that was the big thing with uh, Subaru Man. She had to have sex with him in order to get shelter and stuff. She doesn't have to deal with that now, so she's happy. So, she's, so she's feeling more comfortable in the quote-unquote relationship, or fake relationship, if you will. So, she, yeah, she has to put up with him, but she doesn't have to have sex with him. And she has a roof over her head. The bills are being paid. She doesn't have to worry about missing a meal, obviously, or where the food's going to come from. So, like, her basic needs are satiated without her having to put much into it. So, because of that, she got super comfortable in her environment. So, she's letting herself go, dropping appearances. Obviously, the first year or two of a relationship you're going to try to keep up appearances and stuff and then you get comfortable with a person it, it makes sense this is what happens right so it's like i mean so it's like yeah yeah but she has to do something with that haircut that's all i'm gonna say her haircut is not very good like i think it's just curls and twirls in general it just makes terrible fucking haircuts but i don't know girl you can do something better than that and like you know about that's basically all I really have. This is obviously a whole work to try to like um capture the fervor and criticism and harshness of detractors, which is not a fair light because again, it's been such a shock see not seeing her for five years. But I guess we now know where Kat is. She isn't dead, she isn't missing. She's just been slowly gaining weight in the background the whole time because DSP broke her exercise bike and refused to let her go to the gym. So honestly, like, I don't know if DSP is a feeder or if he's doing it intentionally or if he's just enabling her bad behavior and bad eating habits. But I don't know. Maybe if he actually had built that exercise bike properly she wouldn't have gained this much weight i don't know and again there's nothing wrong with being bigger as long as you're self-aware about it like i know i'm bigger i need to exercise my more too i get that and i'm trying on it but yeah so it just it kind of is what it is um like it was definitely a surprise because we like i don't think anyone was actually expecting this, I, everyone was thinking this was just going to be another nothing burger, right? But it's pretty clear it's just trying to get ahead of the documentary because she's clearly going to be in the documentary. So people are going to be talking about this for quite a while, I'm sure. And there'll be a lot of laughs to be had and everything like that. But it's just kind of funny. And I guess we just got another girl for Gore World. You have Amber Lynn, you have Foodie Booty, and now you have Cat Burnell. Cat Burnell. Wearing a fucking moo moo over here. But I digress. That's all for this one. Super quick. See you guys later.